Good morning, my friends. Today is Monday, August 21st. It's Monday of the 20th week in Ordinary Time. It's the optional, no, it's the memorial of St. Pius X. So he was born Giuseppe Sarto in uh, Italy. He was, he says, I was born poor, I live poor, and I will die poor. He was elected uh, Pope in um, uh, 1903, and then uh, uh, he died in 1914, and he talked about World War I, which is close to when he died. Uh, you know, he, he talked about the scourge on the human family that the World War was about. But he was known for uh, catechesis for adults and children. Uh, he encouraged the frequent reception of the Eucharist at a time when it was, you know, more common to receive infrequently, and for children to receive communion as young as the age of seven. So uh, we pray for uh, him. He's called the Pope of the Eucharist, and it's appropriate for this year of the Eucharist uh, for our parish, parishes. And he, um, he was canonized in 1954. So I'd like to focus on this gospel reading today, Matthew chapter 19, verses 16 to 22. It's a common uh, gospel that we've all heard before. Young man approaches Jesus and he says, Teacher, what good must I do to gain eternal life? So we all want to know uh, how to get to heaven, right? That's a common thing. And it's interesting, he says, what do I need to do? Because there's a common sense that all I need is faith. Um, but Catholic, you know, doctrine says it's faith and works. So faith is primary and then works if if. If I have faith, it should pour forth into good works. And so what does Jesus say here? This is important. He says, why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. And so many people will say, Jesus is saying he's not God. He says, you know, why do you ask me about the good? There's only one, capital O, one who is good. But what he could be saying is, you're recognizing me for who I am. There is only one who is good, and that's God. And Jesus is the Son of God. And so he says, if, if you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments, first thing. So we do have to do something, Jesus is saying, and that's, that's follow the commandments. We know the first three commandments are about loving God. The next seven commandments are about loving our neighbor. I'll be on Relevant Radio uh, on Monday morning, uh, 7.15 Central Time. We're going to be talking about commandment three and commandment four on the radio. So the young man asked Jesus, which, which ones? What's commandments? Jesus says, you shall not kill, shall not commit adultery, shall not steal, bear false witness, honor your father and mother, love your neighbors yourself. So he's kind of summarizing the commandments there. And the young man says, I've observed all of these. What do I still lack? So this was a good man. He wanted, he wanted to do it all. Um, and if you're listening to this video, if you're reading the scriptures, you have a desire to love and to serve God. And so now Jesus raises the bar and he says, if you wish to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. So who's ready to do this? <laughs> go sell what you have, give it to the poor and follow me. Now, is Jesus asking us to literally go sell everything? Maybe. <laughs> There are some people that he is asking to do that. And there are some people who renounce all their worldly goods to follow the Lord. But I think it's very important that we're not attached to anything. Remember, if we love or serve anything more than God, it's an idol. Honor, power, pleasure, and wealth. If I ask you, or if Jesus asked you today, okay, go sell everything, give to the poor and follow me, what's the first thing you wouldn't want to give up? And it might be something good like your spouse. And God's not going to say, I want you to divorce your spouse. But he's saying, if you're making your spouse more important than me, than God, then things are out of line. That person is an idol. Those things that you serve are idols. And so Jesus wants us to be, you know, he says he's a jealous God, not because he's a sinful, jealous God, but he knows how we were created. And when we make him first in our lives, things are put into right order. All of our relationships, everything after that falls into place. Seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added unto you. When the man heard this statement from Jesus, he went away sad for he had many possessions. He wasn't willing to detach himself from the things of this world. 
He wasn't willing to make God the absolute center of his life. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We ask you for the grace to follow your commandments and to detach ourselves of all worldly goods that we may make you the center of our lives. Put all of our relationships in right order, Lord, and help us to have a right relationship with the things, the created things of this world. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune to your families. Buen Camino. And God bless you. You're probably wondering why I'm inside. Because it felt like it's 100 degrees in a sauna outside. <laughs> Air conditioning feels pretty good. God bless you.